Hi, this is Sandra Rains DeBusk, and today I'm going to talk about, you know, a lot of things because I have racing thoughts, um, but the main thing is the gifts that something, Sasquatch, Dogmen, Wildmen, Aliens, something has given me in seven years um to a lot of people these gifts would mean nothing but I live here I know the surrounding areas and there's no reason why any of these things would show up on my porch steps porch banister unless something deliberately brought it and laid it there Um, We do not have little kids running around. I have grandkids, but they're seldom here. Um, And uh, so anyway, over seven years, well, for the past seven years, um, something, you know, has brought me very old vintage toys. Um... And this, the last things they brought me was, um, brought me a thick yellow ring, um, the kind, you know those, uh, games that kids used to play, they'd put a cone out, a hard plastic cone, and then throw these plastic, thick plastic rings and try to make it on the cone, the point, okay, one of those rings, and then, um, it was yellow, which is my favorite color, and then they brought me a big yellow plastic bat, um, we, when we first moved here, this place was a mess, whoever lived here was, uh, white trash, It's the only way I can put it. They would, instead of getting, you know, paying for $20 a month trash pickup, they'd throw it out on the back hill in the woods. And uh, and I'm talking dirty diapers, broken bottles, uh, food cans, you know, that they'd opened and emptied. So anyways, we cleaned all that up. Took us a couple of years to do so. Um, so anyways, we've cleaned up this whole back hill, and we clean up the woods back there when we find something. We pick it up, put it in the back of the cart, bring it here, and put it in the trash. So anyways, there, there's, you know, we've lived here seven years. We know what is back here. And, uh, so anyway, they, they bring it up, and sometimes our dog will bark you know, viciously, like something's here, and we don't always pay attention to him, because he's also known just to bark, bark, for no reason, um, or his reasons are he hears something in the distance, you know, but anyway, and then we'll go out, and there will be something laying on the banister, or the stuff that wasn't there before, And the reason why it would be there unless something put it there. So it's gifts, you know. And I've collected them all. I've I've got them all. They're all vintage. Um, Back in... A vintage to me is like back in 2000, 1999, 1980. You know, things from that era. And uh, so anyway... That's what they do. They bring me gifts. Uh, the first couple years that we lived here, um, the older I get, the more my system changes. When I had my first child, Joe, um, and he's 30 now, well, 29. Anyway, when, when I got pregnant with him, I became allergic to any cheap jewelry. Uh, whereas I used to be able to buy $2 earrings and wear them, 
I can no longer do that. It has to be gold. Real gold. And, uh, so anyway, what I was getting at was, um, after we moved here, we started picking wild berries, and I'd can them. And, uh, as you know, berries have thorns. Well, I was constantly getting stuck. But I ended up with staph infection from some of the thorns back there. And uh, got rid of it, you know, nine antibiotics a day for seven days, 63 antibiotics. I had to take them seven days. Plus, they dug it out, you know, out of my hand. <coughs> so, but when I had that sore on my thumb, knuckle, um, and it was healing, the Sasquatch left me a little Scooby-Doo girl, um, the dark-haired one, and I forget her name, uh, anyway, and the plastic doll was a glow-in-the-dark, and she was wearing a camera around her neck, which I did all the time, and on one of her hands, the same one my boo-boo was on, she had a, what looked like a little sore on her thumb, so, they basically made her look like me, and I thought that was so cool, you know, and I've still got her, my grandson Ulrich, he loves playing with that doll when he comes, you know, she's just probably a three inch tall figurine, and, but he, he's drawn to that one. So anyway, they just leave me gifts all the time, and I think that is very cool. I feel, I feel special, you know, I never, never have ever attempted to hurt them. I take them gifts also, peanut butter sandwiches, sometimes peanut butter and homemade jam sandwiches. Um, I cut them, you know, in four little squares. But there's a lot of things that we do for each other. I'm sure I don't do enough, you know. And some people say, don't feed the Sasquatch. You know, they get angry if you quit, and that's not true. You know, not here anyway. They, you know, they take it as I bring it, and vice versa. I take what they give me. And we appreciate it. Now, I'm not saying that they can't be mean. I'm sure they can. Um, but they haven't been mean to me. That's what I'm trying to say. Well, except for one time. But that's a whole other, you know, it was a learning experience. So, it's a whole other story. But thanks for listening. And... God bless.